Hi everyone, welcome to Carpe Diem Sailing. My name is Marco. I'm a Sail Canada cruising instructor and in today's video we'll be going over the steps for reefing the mainsail. Welcome to episode 27, Reefing the Mainsail. For show notes and checklists, please go to www.carpediumsailing.com slash show notes. I have included a link in the description below. And now, let's get started. Traditionally, mainsails have been reefed by lowering the sail sections at a time. This is called jiffy or slab reefing. Most coastal cruisers will have two reefs in their mainsail. Blue water sailors will have a third, and some will carry a storm trysail for extreme conditions. I will not be talking about roller furling mainsails in this video. The basic steps for tying in a reef with a jiffy or slab reefing system is as follows. Lower the mainsail. Harden the luff reefing line or hook the luff reefing cringle. Harden the halyard and re-establish luff tension. This is an important step and I will expand on this later in the video. Harden the leech reefing line. Finally, tie in the reef points. This is a simplification of the process to give you an idea of the sequence. Let's get into all the steps now. Jiffy or slab reefing is lowering the mainsail sections at a time and tying it down to the boom. We do this to shorten sail as the wind pipes up. When it's time to put a reef in the main, the orders come from the helm, and the first thing to do, the first thing the helm's going to do is put the boat on a starboard tack, either close hauled or hove to, and then the command from the helm is ready to reef the main. Again, we make sure the main hatch is closed and the main sheet is hardened for safety. Because of the way this boat is rigged, my topping lift is up forward, so someone's going to have to go forward to look after that. Keeping safety in mind, you want to make sure the main hatch is closed, you want to make sure the main sheet is hardened before going forward. And remember, one hand for you, one for the boat, moving carefully going forward. Once I'm forward, I'm in a relatively safe position here forward of the mast. Topping lift is right here. I stand by and I wait. Once my crew member is safely forward, I'm going to ease the main sheet because we're going to be lowering the sail. And remember that whenever the sail goes up and down the mast, we need to have the main sheet eased. I warn the crew easing the main sheet. So now everybody knows that the main sheet is free to swing. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ease my boom vang because we're going to have to harden the topping lift to pull the boom up as well while we're reefing. By putting the topping lift on, it'll make it a lot easier to put that leech reefing line on. I'm going to retrieve my reefing lines. So on this boat, I have my reefing lines led aft and I have my reefing line split. So I have a luff reefing line and a leech reefing line. These are for the first reef. I have a, a luff reefing line and a leech reefing line for the second reef led to the other side of the boat. Traditionally, boats also had little hooks or ram's horns at the gooseneck and then somebody up forward would actually hook a floppy ring onto that and then you would harden the luff against the ring rather than hardening it against this uh, luff reefing line. For me personally, I like having my lines led back into the cockpit. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my halyard. I'm going to put the halyard on the winch to take the load before I open the clutch. And then I remove the halyard from the jaws of the self-tailing system on the winch. And I stand back and I reply or respond to my helm that I'm ready. As soon as I see that the main sheet and the boom bang are eased, I can now harden the topping lift. And as I mentioned in the, in the last step that raising the end of the boom by using the topping lift takes the weight off the sail and it makes putting in the leech reefing line much easier. Once I've done that and the topping lift is on, I respond ready. Once I get the readies from the crew forward and the crew in the cockpit, I command reef the main. As soon as I hear the word of command from the helm to reef the main, I ease my halyard, lowering the sail. I lower the sail to the point at which the luff reefing cringle reaches the gooseneck. I close my clutch on the halyard, take my luff reefing line, pick up the slack, 
harden it up. I'm just going to snug it up a little bit with the winch just to make sure that the uh, reef and cringle stays nice and tight against the gooseneck. Take my left reefing line off the winch. Now the next thing I'm going to do is harden my halyard, raising the sail again. If I was to harden my leech reefing line right now, I run the risk of possibly pulling the slides out of the mast. So make sure that you harden the halyard before um, the leech reefing line. So I'm going to harden my halyard. I'm going to establish my new luff tension. Make sure my halyard and the luff is nice and hard. Once I've done that, I can take the halyard off the winch. And at this point, put my leech reefing line on. And my leech reefing line is back here. Essentially, it becomes my new outhaul. And so I want, again, to get the Kringle down to the boom. So I'm going to harden that up. Once that's done, the leech reefing line comes off the winch. Main sheet goes back on. I take up the slack, put it on. And remember, we still have a crew member up forward. I'm going to harden the main sheet. We continue sailing. And that crew member up forward is now safe to return on the windward side of the boat. And then once they're back, we're going to deal with this loose section of sail here. Once the topping lift has been eased, I make sure the main hatch is closed. I make sure the main sheet is actually hardened. And I make my way back to the cockpit on the windward side of the boat. Remember, one hand for you, one for the boat. Once I'm back in the cockpit, we're then going to take care of this loose bit of sail. Now that the main sail is being reefed, we need to deal with this loose section of sail. Traditionally, people would tie these reef points in. Now, these reef points are not meant to be load-bearing. They're not like the reefing cringles. So that's why it's orange, to try to be a visual reminder to make sure I take these out and untie them before releasing the reefing lines. So now, what would happen is you would basically roll this up like that, and then you would tie these down under here using a reef knot. For me, Personally, I just find it's just not that practical to do that. And then there's the danger of ripping your sail if this if you forget to take these out. I have a different method. I saw this years ago on a VHS video um, on offshore sailing. So what I prefer to do, and what I've noticed also is that a lot of modern sailors don't even bother putting any reef, reef points in at all. So what I like to do is to actually take this loose section of sail roll it up like this and up onto the boom and then using one of my sail ties you can also use a section of a piece of line i take the uh, the reef tie and i put it through the reefing cringle and then what i do is i tie it securely against the boom and you'll see that the rest of it is actually fairly well managed so i don't really need to tie those others in and then I just use my same little slip knot that I would use for tying a regular reef tie or a sail tie. And I put that in there. And then if you want, you can just tuck this out of the way. And so you can see that it's actually pretty neat. I don't have to worry about those reef points in there and then forgetting to untie them. And the other benefit here is that by going through the cringle, should this line chafe through or break or should somebody um, accidentally open the leech reefing line clutch, we still have the reef tied in. So it's a great safety backup, especially if you're going to be offshore for long periods of time where chafe is a real problem. For the second reef, I would do exactly the same thing, except using the reefing lines that are led to the cockpit on the port side of the boat. And then to shake out the reefs one at a time as the wind dies down, uh, we just reverse this whole procedure. Let's look at the whole sequence once again from start to finish, in real time. As usual, the operation begins with a command from the helm to get ready to reef the main. The main hatch is closed and the main sheet is hardened. A crew member goes forward. Remember, this will vary from boat to boat depending on rigging. My topping lift is at the mast, so someone has to go forward to use it. The main sheet, Boomvang and Cunningham are eased.
The main halyard is wrapped around a winch and the clutch is opened in preparation for lowering the sail. The topping lift is hardened. Once again, I want to mention that by taking the load off the sail, it will be much easier to harden the leech reefing line. The crew let the helm know that they are ready. The helm responds with reef the main. The sail is lowered until the reefing cringle reaches the gooseneck. The main halyard clutch is closed and the luff reefing line is hardened. Harden the halyard and re-establish luff tension. This must be done before you harden the leech reefing line. Harden the leech reefing line, being careful not to pinch the sail. The leech reefing line effectively becomes your new outhaul. The topping lift is eased and the main sheet is hardened. The crew can now safely return to the cockpit, returning on the windward side of the boat. With the main sheet hardened, the reef points can now be tied in. Once again, I want to mention that this is not my personal preference, and I prefer to tie in a single sail tie through the reefing cringle, as forgetting to untie the reef points and releasing the reefing lines can result in a torn sail. Finally, lines in the cockpit are safely stowed out from underfoot. New episodes go up every second Wednesday at 6 p.m. See you next time when we try out and review a crew overboard recovery system. Thanks for watching. Until then, I wish you all fair winds and following seas.